Hello Riven mains and Yasuo mains alike, I am the Nightwing, Way of Life Esports, coming at you guys with another League of Legends video. So today, I'm going to be reacting to the Immortals are back in the LCS uh, hype video that they actually uh, released a couple, you know, uh, well, I would say a week, week, weeks ago, yeah, they announced this a couple weeks ago that they got announced back into the, uh, you know, LCS. And just a few things before I actually um, get into the video is that uh, someone had commented and said, why don't you have a lot more uh, subscribers? Because you obviously have really, really good content. Um, I'll explain that in, in a future video. I obviously can't explain it right now because this is a reaction video. But uh, just a few quick things before I actually get into the video is that Zabutin has been announced as the head coach of um, the Immortals LCS team and Cubs has been announced as an academy coach for them. I'm really glad for them because Zabutin had to deal with Optic Gaming basically falling apart behind the scenes. Not necessarily in a bad way, like in the Echo Fox way. What Optic Gaming went through was just more or less so more or less so what a company buyout is. It wasn't that they were doing bad with money. Uh because they uh, Riot obviously check the team's financials, you know, before they even get into accepted into franchising of, you know, just how that's just what their criteria was. So it wasn't money. If you go on YouTube and you look at the op and you just type up Optic Gaming buyout, you'll realize that, you know, most of their issues were just Immortals wanted to buy them and uh, the owner pretty much sold them. That's pretty much it. It's just a company buyout. But then dealing with that, you're dealing with, you know, multiple different people coming into the office every single day the gaming house is probably you know getting a lot more people in there probably causing some problems not even, even causing problems in a bad way but causing problems for the lcs team to scrim they probably need to use the computers they're probably unhooking things and you know probably you know moving things out it's just there's a lot of things that people just don't understand that happens with uh when a company gets bought out because i've definitely been the recipient of that but other than that Let's look at the Immortals are back in the LCS. And I'm going to give you guys my full undocumented opinion as to why they should have never been out of the LCS. But let's look at this right now. Some nice music. Some nice music right here. lit all right that, that that's actually pretty cool though that's actually really cool though i like that i really like that hype video given the other oh, their return their return hype video and then obviously face check is gonna play this is actually really 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 good uh podcast actually but yeah i like that look at that music look at that music man that music is fire who did that who did that music man that music is that, I love that. Look at that. It's so fire. It gets you in that mood like it's the hype video. I'm ready. Get come on. Yeah. Look at the Immortals. They ah uh, man, I miss them, man. Like having watching the LCS for as long as I've been watching it, holy crap, man. Yeah, it's time to break out the IMT jersey. Yeah, uh man. Okay, so basically they came into the 
LCS as just a new org. They took over Team 8 spot. I don't know what the reason why for kicking them out was because they wanted to keep Echo Fox and FlyQuest. People were literally saying just kick out FlyQuest and Echo Fox. Two orgs that primarily suck since they've been in. And I mean primarily sucked. They've primarily sucked. I know FlyQuest have had a little bit more higher placings than Echo Fox. But I even said back in the day and I went on Reddit and I was like why the F is Immortals not accepted into franchising. Uh, an org that came in 17-1 and one, and then in best of threes went 16-2. and two. That they went 16 and 2 in best of threes. The only other better team than them was TSM at that current point in time. Then they had the one bad split where they didn't make playoffs because of Dardock. And then after that, they made their first finals. Right after that, they've literally had amazing splits. Literally. And then we keep Echo Fox, who's only had one good split, has been primarily 8th to 10th place. They were almost about to get relegated at one point. Why did we not keep them? I think Riot made a huge mistake by not keeping them. And late, years later down the road, I was proven right. People on uh, Reddit were like, oh, yeah, you're just a hater. Echo Fox has got, got a lot of branding and uh, FlyQuest is, you know, just they're they're a nice, humble team. Immortals are nothing but a bunch of cocky losers who just buy the best talent. Yeah, where are those teams at now? Yeah, where's your little beloved Echo Fox at? You know, the, 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 the humble guys, right? Yeah, they, they might need to, you know. Uh, not be broke before they talk about being humble. Yeah, I, I like how broke people have the uh, biggest say in the world, yet people who make money, like myself, obviously, are the bad guys looked at. I don't know how that's even possible, but yeah. I, I'm really, really sad they didn't make it into the LCS, man. It, it sucked not seeing them in, but my friend, one of my friends here, he's commented before, uh, he really, really li likes them, but he then, then he became a Team Liquid fan because, well, IMT weren't in the LCS, so... I don't know how it's going to be looked at, it, but I'm glad IMT's back. You know, I really, really miss them. And last time people saw IMT was at the 2017 League of, Le League of Legends World Championship where you get the infamous Cody Sun play. And if you thought I wasn't going to play that actual play, then you're crazy. But hold on. I'm going to – and obviously right now they have Zawatine and Cubs announces IMT's uh, LCS coach and um, the academy coach right here. Can you guys hear that? They have the best music in their videos, man. Look at that. It's just hype, man. It's just hype, bro. But this, this music is lit, though. Let's hear that again. One more time. Here, one more time, one more time, one more time. No. That's how you get me back in there. But sadly, I am I am a fan of G2 and Cloud9, but I'm glad Immortals are back, you know, for them. Oh, you thought... You guys thought we were not gonna do the Cody Sun play. You guys, you guys thought I'm nice. I'm not nice. Uh, Cody Sun fail. Oh, I've actually watched this video probably like three million times. Not gonna lie to you, but uh, yeah, this is so funny, man. It's, it's just so funny. I can't, I can't, I can't. It's so funny. Oh my, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose my mind. First kill, it's reckless. Get it out when a trade is one more comes in. It's the bot lane, the support going down. 3v4, a motor force is run away. Flame that they want this one. The chain really still on a couple of not quite the blade color range and just barely missing onto that Miyazawa. There's still more to be done. They look for the kill. Reckless gonna come in and Brock's gonna get the kill spread on that one. And the flash bar coming oh, in. Oh. The insect but betrays his teammate. And it's gonna be the ace for. Oh, okay. <laughs> he wanted. <laughs> He wanted to insect, but betrayed his team. Oh, that killed me. I, I watched this live. Holy crap, that broke my heart. But, oh my goodness. It's so funny to come back and watch this years later. Cody Sun loses his mind by flashing into an entire team at the end. And we talked to... Oh my god. No, where's the other one? This uh, insane ADC mechanics. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, let's go with this one. This one. On. Not a single hit by Immortals on that wave. Uh, let's go let's with it. right now. We'll see the next wave coming through. The Cody Sun wants in, and when I thought that one. What? What's the one I'm thinking about? The Cody Sun betrayal. Three v four. Immortals forced to run away, but Fnatic they want this one. The chase for it. Probably not quite the blade color range, and just no, it, barely it, missing. It, it wasn't this, that right. Uh, Cody Sun. No, I'm pretty sure it's, it's different. In sec. <laughs> stupid Cody Sun insect Cody Sun insane ADC mechanics uh nope worst highlight no I, I, no that, that that's it it was so funny it was so hilarious that was literally the
the 3v4 Immortals plus to run away. Never seen in my Davis, life. Same time. Free and flame taking insane turret shots. Free. Oh my goodness. Uh, but Immortals have also had relatively high highs. Uh, this was a actually pretty good in the trailer in which Cody uh, got Cody. Uh, yeah, Co Kobe. Oh, I said Cody because Co Cody was on my mind. Cody's done. Come on, you stupid ass. Play, 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 play. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh, and he's gonna get shot blasted mid jump. So, what happened up. there? Broxa kicked him into the turret range, but the. Take the last hit on that M into that territory. So, it might just be a huddle up this of defensive here. Right here. Maybe with uh, 45 Ooh. seconds on Baron. Oh, play both the storm. That's the ultimate though. It's the flat record. Flat is in there. Oh, no. He does get knocked up. Cardi's on. Having to take it down and catch. He gets out of the way with the rest of Fnatic. They're in trouble. That's it. That's the Cardi's son. This late in the game. Those are the plays that make the definitive statement. And now it's going to be a four. With a huge power play. Reckless, he tries to go for the play. He goes for the flash, and that ends in his death. This oh. is disaster for Fnatic, and they're now trying to get something back. Only one option left. Do something to Fnatic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's Immortals, but you guys know me. I'm a, a Cloud9 boy, and I, uh, Jack, you better be buying some good players this season because I'm not going to, I'm not, not a, about to accept this crap we've been doing for the past couple years, but it doesn't matter. This high video, fight. The fight. this ep this high video was pretty epic right here. Um, it was right about here. Yeah. Will represent in the world final. Remember, this this is if you want to do a hype video, this is a hype video. Now, I know Cloud9 failed at Worlds this year, but oh my god, this hype video is so lit, man. This video is. Big man. Outside, outside, looking at the stars, staring with my mouth wide. I ain't letting nobody stop me this time. With every single level that I reach and I climb, they ask, Are you from outside, outside? Everything around me, I create with my mind. Working to Iron Man. Ultimate on starter not available, nor on Sedwadi. The Drake's gonna be taken low. Here goes Hazel Rocker. I think Toxic Smithy gonna be brought very low. Brought down. Now the damage coming right back into the Cloud9 line. Licorice grabbing the kill. Auto Smithy. Core JJ getting away. Double kill over to two Licorice. As it's also gonna be a double for Jensen. Can they find more? It looks like yes. Jensen is gone. And Licorice gets the first. That's how you do a high video, man. But I'm so glad to see Immortals back in the LCS, man. They never should have been out. And Riot Man made a big mistake kicking them out. But, you know, they're back, and that's good. We are IMT. But I am part of hashtag C9win, and I'm part of hashtag DG2win. But I'm glad Immortals get to have uh, their team back, and that's really, really happy for me, honestly, as well. So see you guys later. Like, comment, subscribe. Most of all, enjoy. I'm the Nightwing, and Way of Life Esports is signing out. Hi you guys, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more stuff. Yeah, thank you.